transducers are, are again, they're pretty straightforward in the fact of put your gauge on it and compare. You should be within a, a few PSI. You know, if, if you've got especially more than five, but in many cases, I'd rather be lower than that. I'd, I would rather be within a couple of PSI with a calibrated gauge. Now, a asterisk I'm going to put on that is be very careful if you're using a um, regular compound gauge or analog gauge because you've got to make sure that's calibrated. All right? Point and his reaction time as low and how quickly made it does. Yep. No, that's true. Um, yeah, these, these are tests that you really want to do when the system is off and stabilized. And that is a very general test you can do. Like if you walk up to a unit and you have the ability to shut that the unit down for uh, you know at least 20, 30 minutes, most all of your uh, sensors should stabilize and align with each other in that time frame.